Hello viewers, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to design a finite state machine which will accept the strings which end in B A B B over the inputs A comma B. So this question is very similar to the one we had done just before this. So step number one remains the same. That is the theory. Step number two is all about the logic for this particular question. Uh, this question involves inputs A and B instead of zero and one. So I will be a set of a comma b. Similarly, output will remain the same. That is either the number is completely uh, following the logic or not. That is either yes or no. Similarly, the states over here would be q s till q four, uh, as explained in the previous video. Also, that the uh, that the states actually depend upon the implementation table. So first, understand the implementation table, and then we will revert back to the states. and we simply need to fill the values of all these states which we have got in the implementation table over here in this set of s okay so let's start with step number 3 which is implementation so in the question it has been asked that we have to accept the strings which are ending uh, in b a b b so we have to follow the similar logic that is we have to create a table with two columns uh, which will be the inputs that is a and b uh, there will be the initial state q s there will be a state q0 which will correspond to all the strings which are ending in a similarly uh, there will be a state q1 which will correspond to all the inputs which are ending with b as explained in the previous video also that by default we have to use this uh, technique in each and every problem that we are going to face uh, based on strings so what exactly happens is now we need to start our logic so in the question it has been asked that all the strings ending with b a b b should be accepted so we first of all have to accept b a then b a b and finally b a b b so we need three more states which uh, should be uh, corresponding to all the inputs such as b a b a b and finally the one which has been asked b a b b so let's see how to do this as we know uh, the very first thing is initially the machine is in the qs state that is empty state so we uh, we are not having any inputs in qs so what we need to do is whenever the input is a on qs we will straight away jump to uh, the state which is corresponding to the input a which is q0 similarly in qs if the input is b we will straight away jump to q1 that is done over here similarly now we are in state q0 that is we already have one a in our machine and now depending upon the input either it is a or it is b we have to make the transitions so if the input is a the string becomes a a so we first of all check whether there is a uh, state corresponding to a yes obviously there is a state corresponding to a which is q0 so we will keep on moving to the left and check whether there is any more state which is corresponding to a a according to our uh, considerations assumptions we don't have any state which is corresponding to a a so we will simply backtrack and as a result we will stick to the strings which are ending with a that is the state q0 similarly with the same logic ab we will first check whether any state is corresponding to ab or not yes there is a state corresponding to ab we will move towards the left to check whether any more state is corresponding to the entire string ab or not as we can see there is no state which is corresponding to ab so again we will backtrack and as a result we will stick to the state which is corresponding to b that is q1 i hope this logic is clear this was the same logic we had used in the previous question also so now let's talk about the state q1 we are in state q1 it simply means that there is already an input b present in that state okay so now the inputs could be either a or b so we now need to check whether there is a string whether there is any state corresponding to a we have it so we keep on moving left we will now check whether there is any more state corresponding to ba as we can see clearly that there is a state which corresponds to ba so we will simply write q2 over here because q2 is the state which corresponds to ba with the similar logic we can end up in q1 over here so i guess this is clear uh, by now so next up using the same logic we have used over here it becomes b a a and b a b depending upon the two inputs so we will check whether b a a is part of this uh, table or not a is there but is a a 
a part of the states no a is not a, uh, a state present in this table we further check to the left whether any more state is corresponding to b a a or not but as we can see there is no state which corresponds to b a a as the input and hence we will backtrack by two steps and stop over here that is q0 similarly uh, we will check for this particular combination also we will check whether b is present yes there is a state q1 corresponding to b we will move further to the left we will check whether ab is there ab is not a state present over here but we'll keep on moving to the left uh, in search of finding a particular pattern now if we move further to the left we see that bab is a state q3 which corresponds to the strings ending with bab hence uh, we will write q3 over here and as a result in the same fashion we are going to complete our entire table and the table will look like this at the end so i hope you got the understanding of how to create these tables so with this logic let's move ahead to the step number 4 which is transition diagram so based upon the previous table we simply need to convert that into a diagrammatic structure that is for each transition we need to write the inputs which correspond to that particular uh, state for example q2 uh, on input b goes to q3 q2 on input a goes to q0 you can verify that from the previous step Q3 on input A goes to Q2 and Q3 on input B goes to Q4. So that is what happens over here. So if you have got the transition diagram uh, uh, clearly, if you have got the understanding of the transition diagram, then it is nothing but it is simply a representation of the transition table. That is our step number three implementation. And based upon that, we have solved an example over here. You can see this example. it is ending with b a b b so according to our logic this particular string should get accepted and that is what we are getting at the end we are ending at q4 and as we know q4 is our final state so hence we will stop in q4 by accepting that particular string in the q4 state i hope this is clear to you this was how we uh, so this is how we actually solve a problem where we have strings involved we first of all uh, create the states which are by default to be present over there that is q0 q1 depending upon the inputs and then we follow the logic and create the next states so i hope this was clear let's meet in the next lecture stay tuned